Okay, we're taking a look at The Three Days of Gettysburg, designed by Richard Berg, published by GMT Games in 1995. Of course, it covers the entire Battle of Gettysburg on the regimental um, battery level. Now, this video will be a little bit different than my other ones. Uh, it's going to be very short because it's really almost for my own consumption. It's just really to fool around with a methodology for playing it. I'm not even sure how I would play this thing and uh, I'm going to try to show you why. Okay, the problem is one of sheer size. Now, the map consists of three map sheets up there in the northwest, northeast, and uh, south. So, I'll zoom in closer, but you can see the problem I'm having. Uh, it barely fits, well actually doesn't fit on my table. It extends over to the sides on the right, and over on the left, it's fatal because, um, well, I couldn't put any counters there on the left, could I? So I might have to move the whole thing over and sacrifice terrain on the right, which doesn't make uh, much difference. Uh, no problem getting the big round top in, little round top peach orchard, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'd have a hard time even playing this whole thing because it just plainly doesn't fit in my table. So what I'm going to do is experiment around with maps in different uh, configurations and see what I could play. Because I think some of the scenarios don't require all maps. I'll look at the scenarios and uh, shoot a bit of footage to see what this thing uh, will look like. Okay, here's the problem I've got with the game. For example, if you want to play just the first day, July 1st, specifically says all three maps are used. Which surprises the hell out of me. I would have thought they'd have included a first day scenario. I'll get to that in a minute. Then you go to the um, Little Round Top July 2nd scenario and you can use only map C, which is fine. I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. So scenario 1 is out, scenario 2 is in. Now, scenario 3 is the second day. All three maps are used, so that's out. And let's see, what's any other scenarios? Yeah, there's the third day. All three maps are used. So they're not giving me a lot of leeway here. And I think, well, of course, there's the entire Battle of Gettysburg, and all three maps are used. So there's only one scenario um, where you use. Uh, one map, and it's the map I least favor, map C. What I really want to do is play the first day at Gettysburg. But let's show you the maps as I've oriented them and see what they look like. Okay, if you put the uh, map A and B sideways on your table, you can easily uh, play the first day because you've got the town of Gettysburg and all the ridges to the west. All the critical terrain is there, Cemetery Hill and Culp's Hill. And I'm just astounded that they have not created a scenario for the first day because that's the one that I find so fascinating. So in the end, I guess I could create my own first day scenario and have the men come on, come up the Emmitsburg Road, but um, just dumbfounds me that they have not created a uh, July 1st scenario for this. So you're kind of left with playing uh, the game with all three maps or not playing at all. And I'm afraid for me, that's going to be probably not playing at all. Let's take a look at their other option. Okay, that's the map if you were playing only the little round top scenario. Big round top here, little round top there, Houks Ridge, and of course Seminary Ridge. So this is just map C, one map, and it can clearly fit on just about any war game table. Um, nicely done map too, by the way. Apparently the first edition was uh, Rick Barber's. And the second edition is from Joe Eust. But um, it's a nice looking map. It's a darn shame I wish I could play the darn thing. So um, that's it for uh, the Three Days of Gettysburg, a methodology for playing. And to tell the truth, I, I don't know how I'm going to play it. Okay, well that's all I have to say about the Three Days uh, of Gettysburg. It'd be a nice game to play, to tell you the truth, but I just don't have the room to set it up. Now that's okay. I mean, you want to make these large games, that's that's fine. But, you know, I wish they would take into consideration the average gamer. And uh, if you're going to make a game this size, at least have a bunch of scenarios where you can play on a half-decent 
board. That isn't the case here. I can play really one scenario of this game. I don't think I want to bother learning all these rules to play one scenario of Little Round Top. I really would like to play the whole Battle of Gettysburg, which, you know, beckons back to Terrible Sith Sword. Do I want to go back, what, 30, 35, 40 years and play an old game like that? Um, I know that there's other large monster games out there in Gettysburg. They're probably all quite large. I don't know if um, they have designed it so you can do a first day scenario. I probably could do my own research. Um, I mean, I'm quite capable of doing that, of getting an order of battle for the first day. And I probably could play the first day with uh, just these two maps side by side. But, you know, I really shouldn't have to do that. There should have been included a scenario to that effect in the game, but there wasn't. So, I don't know if uh, I'll do any more videos on this. It's a shame. Uh, it does look like a pretty good game. But if anyone's got any suggestions for a first day scenario here, or maybe a website I haven't uh, plugged into that someone's done the research for doing just the first day at Gettysburg, um, I'm listening. Anyway, uh, that's it for the three days of uh, Gettysburg. GMT, 1995.